say you want to be my big kahuna. You hang in ten, Dan. It don't matter if you're gay or fishing for some tuna. I'm on my online wave, hang loose tonight. Don't have to leave your room for a party that's out of sight. Broadway Bears 19. Yes. How many have you done? This is my third year doing it. I've done the last two years, so number three for me. Yeah. So tell me what it was like the first time, the second time, and what you're looking forward to the most tonight. Uh, I think the first, the first year for me was just sort of like getting over the nerves of like being in front of that many people with not very many clothes on. Um, but I think in my third year now, it's more I'm just excited about finding out the total that we raised from tonight. And that gives me the inspiration to do it. I mean, really like being here for the cause and everything and, and to uh, raise so much money for Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS through this, this event. So I can't wait to find out how much money we gather from this. Let's talk about the number that you're doing tonight. Yes. It's called You've Got Mail. I play Hotmail. I'm the lead. This is my third time being lead strip, so I have a great time doing that. And it's uh, all men this year. Uh, and I'm uh, like a 70s porn star-ish mailman. And I'm delivering mail, so uh, it's kind of raunchy. <laughs> I have got 13 men with mailboxes covering up their crotches and their bums, so uh, I give, I deliver the mail. show a couple times so because uh, Jen Cody is my sister-in-law and she is she does it every year so I've, I've usually I've come quite a bit so tell me what today has been like for you so far well I, I'm a little overwhelmed and um, and intimidated but um, we had a dress rehearsal really quick I they literally called me about a week and a half ago to do it and um, I just got attacked by makeup and hair and uh, and so we're ready to now just have fun but honestly it it the, the biggest reminder is uh, is what this is all about and so we're here supporting Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS and and uh, and then checking out a lot of hot bodies Wow three-time Tony nominee Sutton Foster is my vision Actually, I was nominated four times, and I won one. <laughs> but who's counting? But this vision isn't about me, Dan. It's about you. But I don't understand. Well, maybe it's a little bit about me. <laughs> I mean, this is fun, I have to admit. Woo! I get to come out here with big hair. I never get to have big hair. And hot Mac makeup and a sassy dress. Is this your first one you've done? Yeah, my first one ever. I've never uh, even like seen it before either. I, I always heard about it, but I never like experienced it before, so yeah. You're, you're a Broadway Bears virgin. So talk about what this whole thing means to me. Here you are standing here getting ready to do the finale of this show, the hair finale, right? Yeah, I just got, I got thrown in, actually. Um, the guy Darius, or the guy who plays HUD, he's feeling ill this uh, this week, and he just didn't really feel like he could really do it and be all the rehearsals and stuff. So they were like, do you want to do it? And I was like, sure, why not? I was going to come just to experience it, to watch it. But now it's just a lot different to actually see everything that's going on, watch the run-throughs, you know. So tell me what's been going through your head. I mean, this is such a great fundraising yeah. benefit. Talk about what, what's going through your mind. Well, I thought I'd be sh shocked about the people getting naked, but since I do that every single night, I decided that it was actually, you know, I didn't decide. I realized it wasn't that big a deal. It was, it's fun to see people dance and just have fun. I mean, everyone is just, 
having such a joy, like just being here. Everyone's taking pictures, you know, with the hair, the makeup, and the wigs, and everything. It's just, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. This is not your first Broadway Bears, is this it? Is, I'm a virgin. This is my first Broadway Bears. Okay, so what do you think so far? I'm a little overwhelmed by all of the excitement and flesh. Oh, I think our director is about to give a speech. He looks like he's about to say something. It's, Peter. It, yeah, Peter Gregg is incredible, and the spirit here is incredible, and the people are wonderful, and hope we have a great two shows, and hope we raise a ton of money tonight. Oh, you're going to. Just talk about the number that you're doing in the show. I'm in the finale, and uh, actually have a little scene at the top, and set up the thing, and then I come back at the end, and we, uh, the whole thing's like the internet. Dan won't get off the internet, and uh, we're going to get real, so we're like all these earth creatures. Here we are, Broadway Bears. Now, you've done some of these before, right? How many have you done? Well, this is my third Broadway Bears. Uh, the first time I ever did it, it was a week after the Jersey Boys won the Tony Award, and we came on as a special guest, and I did rotation. And then the next year, I came back as rotation master with Chris Sieber, and I just basically stood around and looked beautiful and, you know, encouraged people to tip. And then, uh, but this is the first year I'm actually in it, where I'm actually in a number. And not only am I in one number, but I'm in three numbers. And I get to do all the fun scenes. So this is absolutely uh, a one of a kind experience for me in my, my whole life. So tell me what this, I mean, for people who've never been here before, talk about what this audience reaction is like here at Broadway Bears. The audience energy is basically the best of what New York City is. It's encouraging, it's uh, extremely outrageous, it's lighthearted, it's fun-spirited, and it's everybody just getting together and having a great time. The crowd just eggs us on and we just go farther because of them. And it really, it really is a, a once a year New York City extravaganza. All right, this is amazing. Yeah. It's absolutely, what am I doing? I don't know. What am I doing? My old ass, what am I doing? Please, you're far from it. <laughs> Talk about what tonight means to you being a part of Broadway Bears. Well, it was, you know, I've been with it for a long, long time, just as a spectator, and then I sang once in the show. But I've, I've always wanted, I've always dreamed of being up there on that stage. And, you know, I guess I used the secret, and the secret happened, you know, and I, I got to get, be a, a, a lead dancer, quote unquote, in one of the strip shows. So talk about the number that you're doing tonight. Okay, they call it Sweet Tree, and they put a young man in there who's small, a little smaller than me, and a Caucasian man, into an oven. They mix all these ingredients together, and out pops me. I'm a brownie, I guess. I don't know. But it's going to be a lot of fun. And a lot of women are taking my clothes off, so we really like that. Yeah. Now, how long did you work on the number? Maybe about three days. Yeah, yeah, we kind of just put it together. I mean, it's very short. The other people in the show are doing all the, like, technical good stuff. I'm just kind of walking and uh, just having fun, so, you know. Tell me what this organization means to BCEFA, because you do a lot of work for them. Right. Well, it, it has been near and dear to my heart. I mean, I've had a lot of friends who have either been sick or who have passed away and things like that. And so when Jerry Mitchell started this years ago, I wasn't there in the beginning, but I was there, like, maybe the second year, third year. And it's just been... Like an amazing uh, uh, camaraderie. Like everybody in the Broadway community gets together and just has so much fun. But it's for a blessed cause, and uh, you know we're we're hoping that we raise a whole lot of money tonight and just have such a good time. And you know.
Well, I've come to it for many years, and um, I always thought there should be a, a bear representative, B E A R. And I, I thought, you know, why don't we do a number that involved bears? And uh, they couldn't get enough B E A R bears, so I'm part of a fun sketch that, that sort of plays on that. Go to BroadwayBears.com, not BroadwayBears.com. Really? Does the profile name Cub Dan NYC ring a bell? Cub Dan NYC, hot young cub, seeks Broadway leather bear for hibernating, hot gear play, and Patty LuPone. Here we are, so tell me what you're doing right now, what you're preparing for. Well, uh, this is a, a little bit of pec work, a little bit of shoulders. Obviously, it gets the tries. You're going to get the tries whether you want to or not with these exercises. It's just getting prepared to give the audience what they want. So is this your first Broadway Bears? You know, I began my career as a dancer, as most people know. I was actually a dancer who bodybuilded. And then I became a dancer and bodybuilder who acts and commentates and satirizes. Um, but uh, this is actually my first Broadway Bears. I mean, I've watched a lot. Um, well, it's the opening number. And hopefully there's a little bit of surprise where I'm concerned. I'll come on, let's just say, wearing a little bit more than I am now. <clears throat> and then, then I'll, then I'll bring it. And now, a word from our resident know-it-all, Mo Rocca! You crazy kids think that the internet just invented itself. Not so. Originally, the internet was a system of tunnels, also known as the Underground Railroad. The very first email, Harriet at Tupman.com. Today, the internet has evolved into a vast habit trail of clear plastic tubes. But all you kids want to use the internet for is to watch people get naked. You really want to see my Twitter? Click it, bitch! Well, here we are. This is so great. This is so nice. How do you feel tonight? I am, uh, my head is spinning. It's really been a, a, an ama a amazing journey. And then today, I just kind of, it all happened in front of me. All, like at the last second, the costumes were put on and whatnot, and everybody was there and it happened. Nine months of your life, like gets being packed into this one little man. I'm like, oh my God, it's like Brigadoon. You know, it comes once a year, you see it, and it goes away in the fog. So it's, it's just, I'm thrilled beyond belief. Everybody, all the choreographers, have gone beyond my expectations of, of what we talked about back in December when we started working. I look like that. Um, they, they took the ideas and just went off the charts with them. And just the costuming, it's crazy feather people, and everybody's covered in glitter from head to toe, and I'm just, I'm my head's spinning. Yeah!